Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese and welcome to this episode of the Ellison Education video series. You know, we're making tops today and they are really going to set your mind spinning. And the reason I say that is because if you look here, the tops that we're going to make actually will spin. <laughs> So Austin Powers, eat your heart out. But what you need to do is you need to start first by cutting with the die. And the die will give you the spiral, and it also gives you the circle, which I've cut out of cardstock, but I've cut an extra one just out of copy paper because I need to mark the middle. So I'm going to fold this into fourths, and when I open it back up, the spot where those folds intersect is going to be the exact center. So if I use this now, and I line this up with the one that I just cut, and I mark now the exact center. When it comes time to turn it into a spinning top, it's important that it, the spinner sit right in the middle. Now, what you want to do is just put adhesive. So I'm going to take and I'll put adhesive, and I'm, I'm not going to stop to do as much adhesive as you'd really do. I'm just going to put enough so that it will kind of hold it together for me to show you how to assemble it. But you might want to put more adhesive. It works best if you have this end go off of an edge. So I'm going to sort of place it roughly in the middle, but I also want this to go right off of the edge. And then I'll go back and I'll press down. And I can see that I must have covered up exactly where, I'm going to put a little more adhesive, I must have covered up exactly where that center is. So I'm going to go back from the other side and mark once again the middle of the top. So at this point, in order for it to spin, it needs to be a snug fit. And I find that there's two things that I've done that make it hold on tight. You can either take a pencil eraser and an X-Acto knife, and ahead of time, you can cut the erasers off for the students. So you have these little holders. They're like spacers or holders that you can slide onto the back side. You can also take the eraser out of the, these automatic pencils. If you pull this eraser out, it's perfect. Not only, it, it's a good length, so I can use this. I'm going to go ahead and I'll just poke the pen right into that eraser, and I want it to be a tight fit, so I'm going to place it on the table and push until it's a nice snug fit. And now you can see just how quickly and easily you can create a spiral. Well, the fun thing about spirals is how easy you can turn it into other experiments. So as well as having the one that spirals, you can also do different things. If you, for instance, you could ask the students, how many colors do you see? And what I've done is I've taken the fraction circles and I've just cut different colors in the rainbow and attached it to the circle, the fraction circle die. You can see I've got the eraser on the back. And when I spin, suddenly now, instead of seeing the individual colors, look at the effect that it gets just with motion to look at the difference between something that's still versus something that's moving. And as it slows down, you start to see the individual colors again. Another thing that you can do, this is a really fun idea. This, I took a larger size circle. I think this was a six inch circle I started with and drew the, the black patterns. I Once again, I have the eraser holding it nice and tight against the push pin. And when I spin this, look what happens to this design. This is really cool. What's fun about all of these experiments is how something looks stationary versus how it looks when it's moving. And if you go online, you'll find that there are lots of options, lots of patterns that your students can create using the spinning top. You know, these spinners, they're really tops in my book. <laughs>